Hey everyone, good morning. Well, uh, afternoon rather. It's getting a little bit later in the day. I'm out backpacking through this absolutely gorgeous area. This is an area I passed through a couple of years ago and I've been wanting to get back out here ever since. So here I am, got my backpack, got all my backpacking gear with me. I'm gonna be setting up my base camp right in here. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit. So I wanna get my camp set up and all my gear stowed away in my tent and then I'll fill you all in on what I'm hoping to photograph out here. It's just a magnificent area though and it feels so good to be back out here. I'm excited for this week's adventure. It feels good to be out on the trail again. So let's get set up and I'll fill you all in here in a couple minutes on what I'm hoping to do out here. All right, got everything set up here. I set the tent up next to this big boulder here behind me. Like I mentioned, it gets pretty windy out here. Uh, the wind's already starting to pick up a little bit today. But uh, this boulder here should act as a really good windbreak. I, the wind's been blowing this way, so I set the tent up on this side of the boulder. So that boulder, I'm hoping, will block the majority of the wind, just so I don't get a ton of dust and dirt and stuff in my tent. My tent's still a little dirty from my last trip. Shame on me for not cleaning it. But uh, <laughs> you know, we're getting into that time of year when a lot of the ungulate species, a lot of the hoofed mammal species are rutting. You know, we just finished with the elk rut, and the moose rut, and we're starting to get into the uh, mule deer rut and bighorn sheep. And so I'm out in this, again, just this stunning area, hoping to photograph mule deer. Now, mule deer are one of my favorite species to photograph. When I started off in wildlife photography, they were pretty much the first species that really just got me going. I spent a lot of time photographing uh, black-tailed deer and mule deer when I was just getting started with my camera, but as the years have progressed and I've gotten deeper and deeper into wildlife photography as I've progressed more and more, I've actually stopped photographing mule deer as much. Uh, I, you know, I've focused so much on like bears and foxes and I love the owls and ducks have become a true addiction of mine. <laughs> I just haven't made as much time for mule deer as I used to. So uh, this fall, it was one of my goals to get out with the mule deer again and hopefully be able to get some some fun pictures of them. So I'm out in this beautiful mountain range right now hoping to photograph some mule deer. So uh, I've got everything set up. I'm going to get some lunch. I'm pretty hungry after my hiking getting in here today. So I'm going to get some lunch and then we'll set out and see what we can find. Uh, last time I was in this area it proved to be pretty good for mule deer, uh, a lot of them in the area. So I'm really hoping that I'll be able to find them again this trip and be able to take you along on the adventure with me. So let's get some lunch and then we'll set out and see what we can find.
What a beautiful evening. Just look at this. This is one of the reasons I love it out here so much. You just get these beautiful colors, the blues and the pinks and the purples. I just love this high desert terrain. It's one of my favorite terrains to be in. This evening was wonderful. So, you know, with it being my first day out here, I wanted to see what areas were most active with the mule deer. So after I went hiking this afternoon, I checked all the spots where I was able to photograph mule deer two years ago when I was out here. And I was able to come across quite a large group earlier this evening with a pretty impressive buck for this area. And I was able to get some pictures of those deer. Uh, there were 12 of them, I believe. Maybe 14. I'll have to go back and count. Uh, but yeah, there, there was a good number of them. And so I was able to photograph them for a little bit. And then they kind of moved off into some of the brush. And it got really twiggy where they were in. I didn't want to try uh, scrambling through the brush to just to follow them to maybe get some pictures. So I kept hiking through, checking some of the other areas. And this is an area I passed through briefly two years ago when I was here. And I saw a couple of deer, but then I just kept on going and I never really came back. But uh, when I was passing through, I, I made a mental note to come back here and try to photograph the mule deer out here because of this backdrop. I mean, just look at it. You've just got these amazing colors out here. Not even just when the sun is, you know, when it's set and you get the sunset colors, but the terrain, if you get the sunlight on it back here, you just get some beautiful, beautiful colors. So uh, this was a spot that I made a mental note of uh, a couple of years ago, two years ago when I was out here. And so I hiked back out this evening. And oh, it is just beautiful out here. I see a couple deer pretty high up, but I uh, didn't get any pictures of them tonight. But I'll keep coming back out here uh, the other evenings that I'm, I'm here, or other days that I'm here to see what I can find. It's just beautiful though. I'm loving this trip so far. It's, it's moments like this that I really cherish a lot. I'm just soaking it all in right now and I should probably get hiking back to camp. It's, it gets dark really quick out here, so I don't have that much longer. So uh, I think I'll start hiking back to camp here in a minute. I'm just going to take a couple more minutes, turn off the camera and just soak this all in because it is just, it is just beautiful. So I'll check in with you guys in the morning. It's going to be way too dark by the time I get back to camp to uh, check in with you tonight. So. I will check in with you guys in the morning.
Oh, I think I'm gonna sunbathe on this log here for a minute. <laughs> it is surprisingly cold out here this year. The uh, forecast when I checked it, when I was prepping for this trip, it didn't say it was gonna be this cold, but this wind has come in and man, it has just gotten really quite chilly out here. So I'm just gonna soak in some of the sun. I got back to camp and dropped off my backpack and my tent's in the shade right now. As soon as I stepped into that shade, the cold just hit, man, it is, it is really cold, but you know, I'm gonna get some food here, warm up, dig out my uh, down coat from my backpack, and then I'm just gonna keep going looking for deer. It was a really slow morning this morning. I spent pretty much all morning hiking, looking to see what I could find. And I happened upon a smaller group of deer and I had them for literally just a few seconds. The male, uh, one of the bucks, was pushing the females through pretty hard. And you could tell the females didn't really want much to do with him. And so they just kind of moved through the area pretty quickly and he was just following behind and that was that. I didn't really see a whole lot of other accessible deer this morning. I saw some way off in the distance, but I wasn't able to get to them so I'm gonna get some food get my coat and keep going see what we can find this afternoon and evening let me just tell you though I am loving being back out in this terrain I absolutely love it out here if you've ever seen that Clint Eastwood movie Joe Kid this reminds me of the terrain that that movie takes place in it's just beautiful beautiful country out here so yeah, I'm gonna grab some, some food real quick, try to warm up with my coat, and then we'll set back out this afternoon and see what we can find out here. I'm absolutely loving it so far. I'm hoping to find some deer this evening, kind of like I had yesterday evening, because that was just wonderful yesterday. So let's get some food, see what else we can find. After eating, I set back out in search of mule deer. I hiked through the area where I had photographed the deer the previous evening and all was quiet. I expanded my search, hiking further out to the area with the amazing backdrop and beautiful vistas. I was beginning to think I wouldn't be able to photograph any deer that evening as all seemed to be quiet there as well. As I was preparing to turn around and head back to camp, I heard some rustling in the bushes, and out emerged some does, or female deer, and some bucks not far behind. I spent the rest of that evening photographing the beautiful deer, and even managed to get an image or two of a buck with the beautiful views behind and some lingering evening colors on the mountains. What started off as a slow evening soon turned into another wonderful experience with some beautiful wildlife. All was dark when I returned to camp that night. I quickly climbed into my bed as the cold was setting in fast. Sleep was a long time coming as the excitement to continue my journey the next day kept me awake. I lay there pondering on the evening encounter. My heart was full with gratitude for the pictures that I had gotten and the wonderful memories with the deer that I had safely locked away in my mind. 